Good evening and welcome to Forecast from Flagstaff. My name is Chad Eikhoff and I serve as Director of Admissions here at NIU. I'm joined by... Annika Olson. I serve as the Vice President for Enrollment Management here at NAU. And tonight we're coming to you from one of my favorite buildings on campus, Old Main, and the newly named Clara M. Lovett Art Gallery. We're so excited we're able to give you a sneak peek into the art gallery this, for this evening's episode. Clara Lovett just became the namesake of the art museum last Friday when our outgoing President Chang gave, bestowed that honor on her. Clara Lovett was the 13th president of, the, of NAU and the first female president of one of the three state institutions here in Arizona. So certainly aptly named, and we certainly thank President Chang for making that namesake part of her legacy um, as she rounds out her NAU experience. So tonight, we have an amazing episode planned for you. We know there's been a lot of questions around orientation, and now that we're in full swing, we've invited Jenny back, the knowledge keeper of all things orientation, um, to answer some of those questions and to talk a little bit more about what's next. We also have another favorite team member on campus to talk about involvement. And then certainly it wouldn't be a forecast without answering all those great questions you submitted ahead of time. And joining us in the chat, we have Tyler, Nancy, and Fred ready to answer your questions throughout the episode. So shout out to them and a huge thank you. One of the things I did want to touch on, as you've noticed, Chad and I are mask-free inside, and we're super excited about that. Um, we recently lifted that mask mandate for vaccinated team members in small groups based on individuals' comfort levels, as always. But Chad and I are both vaccinated, and, and so is the TV team that's um, assisting us behind the cameras tonight. Um, so here we are inside, and we're super excited about that. Moving forward with different restrictions and mandates and whatnot, we'll continue to update you. Each episode, there seems to be another little piece to unveil there as decisions are made and new guidance is, is given by different groups in the state and certainly the CDC as well. To that end, we're not mandating the vaccine, but certainly are strongly encouraging all students to, to get vaccinated, to make sure they're safe when they come to campus. So if a student happens to be exposed in a classroom or something and they're vaccinated, the CDC regulations share that they don't need to isolate or quarantine, which is great. So all of, as those decisions um, come about, certainly we'll share them here and in other venues as well. But in the meantime, students get vaccinated. We did a survey of faculty and staff and over 90% have been vaccinated, which was a huge number. I was so excited. So students, it's your turn. Get vaccinated. As always, it's not a forecast from Flagstaff without a forecast. And that's Chad's area. And Chad, it's getting warm out there. What's going on? <laughs> it's definitely my area. But as always, the disclaimer, I am not a meteorologist. But as you can see, uh, definitely getting warm for Flagstaff um, as we head into the weekend. So those of you joining us from elsewhere in the state, Phoenix, Tucson, Yuma, um, I can only imagine how warm it's going to get there this weekend. So it might be a good weekend to escape the heat um, and come up to Flagstaff. Had the opportunity to go camping last weekend. Um, perfect weather now to get out and explore all that northern Arizona has to offer. Speaking of exploring, we want to show different parts of campus because we know many of you haven't had the opportunity necessarily to take a, a formal campus tour over the course of uh, the pandemic the last year, year and a half. Um, so as a reoccurring segment at these forecasts from Flagstaff, we're going to have our ambassadors show some of their favorite campus locations. And to uh, kick us off here, we're going to have Garrett and Bailey. Right now, we are standing on the Bridge to South Campus. I really like this spot because during busy periods, there are so many students and our food delivering robots passing back and forth between South Campus and the northern parts. And this bridge connects us to our different academic buildings, the Sky Dome Stadium, 
our campus dining and it's really close to our urban trails and for seniors who just graduated this is a really great spot to take photos. My name is Bailey and I'm a True Blue Ambassador. We're currently standing at Lumberjack Stadium which is the home of our NCAA women's soccer team on campus. One of my favorite memories from my first year was coming with my family and watching this event for free because all students get free tickets to any home athletic event. And that's why this right here is one of my favorite places on campus. Love that soccer stadium. I would argue it's one of the most beautiful soccer stadiums um, in the country. So as promised, we have Jenny, our expert on all things orientation, uh, joining us again tonight. And first question is, if you could just kind of talk through what's been going on so far. I know we kicked off at the beginning yeah. of the month with orientation. Um, what, what's been going on? Yeah, thanks for having me, Chad. Um, so there is a lot going on, students and families. We've been in orientation now two weeks. Um, we've been doing our financing, our education webinars. So encouraging you, families, as well as your students, join the experts, learn any, they can answer any questions you have about your financial aid package and kind of the process preparing you for that fall semester. And those are happening on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, from 4 to 5 p.m. every other week throughout the month of June. Um, we also have had our student jack chats. So our new incoming lumberjacks, you're meeting with our True Blue ambassadors and doing icebreakers, get to know you activities, really building that community. We've also had our first transfer chat as well. Um, and the second one is coming your way on June 23rd. Awesome. So how, you know, obviously we email about different things going yeah. on. You probably received an email encouraging you to attend and watch forecasts from Flagstaff tonight. But if someone just wanted to see a schedule for the whole summer and be able yeah. to plan ahead what they were going to attend, how would they go about checking out that schedule? Yeah, nau.edu forward slash welcome. Check that website out. We have everything going on. So calendar for June, July, and August. I know you'll say, put it on your fridge, right? We have different calendars for our families. We also have them for our first year students and our transfers. So unique schedules for all of them. And then also, if you want, download NAU Go. I definitely encourage you to do that as well. And you can engage with all the events. They have our live Zoom links on there and you can select Google Calendar, add it to your calendar and join that event. Yep. And any of you go, you'd find that on your smartphone in your app store and you could, yeah. could download uh, that and check that out. So I know we told them how to get the calendar and I know yeah. they're all printing out that PDF and putting it on their refrigerator and, so. and <laughs> highlighting what they're going to attend. Um, but can you kind of give us a, a glimpse of what's coming up in the next week or two yeah. um, for orientation? Yeah, so actually tomorrow, June 10th, join our housing and dining staff for our first housing and dining webinar. It's part one of three. So you'll join experts, they'll answer questions to prepare you for that fall semester, move in dates, um, and then how to make sure your meal plans are ready to go when you start here at NAU. Um, and then next week on June 17th, we have our financing your education webinar as well from four to five. And then we have our first Spanish family webinar. So you'll join our team, Nancy, who's on the chat right now, will be leading that and answering any questions for our Spanish family families as well as their students. And then Friday, June 18th, is our first virtual student expo. So a lot of stuff happening um, throughout the summer, but those are kind of the three big ones that I'd say are coming up for people to check out. Awesome. Yeah, really excited about that Spanish language event. And a, a kudos to Nancy, who's helping in the chat for doing a lot of translating for yeah. us uh, to make that possible uh, for families. I also want to plug, we've got a parent chat. So specific to parents you, tuning yeah. in uh, a week from today, um, mm -hmm. that would be June 16th, Wednesday, 5 to 6 p.m. And really encourage you when you get that email um, with that survey link, submit questions ahead of time. It, it helps us uh, prepare and make sure that the information we're sharing um, is really what you need to and want to know. So I realize people might not always be available at the times that we have these virtual events going. Yeah. Jenny, if you could talk a little bit about how they might be able to watch something after the fact um, or get yeah. this other relevant information, how could they go about that? Of course, yeah. Every single session, every event is recorded. And so all those recordings, check out our YouTube channels. I know we're going to show that to you all. We have our NAU Freshman Orientation Channel. We also have our NAU Transfer Orientation Channel. And then for our families and guests, NAU Parents and Families, and then NAU Mil Military Connected. So you just Google that in YouTube and it'll take you to all of that content. We have our various webinars recorded. We also have videos from our ambassadors 
so you'll meet our True Blue team, as well as exploring throughout Flagstaff and campus for our students. Yeah, I love those videos. I checked out a couple of our students. Garrett, who you met in an earlier yeah. video, uh, went to Walnut Canyon with MJ, another one of our ambassadors. Yeah. And um, they're going to give you a glimpse of Northern Arizona. And I know um, as someone who's lived here for 13 years, watching their video made me excited uh, to go visit one of those sites again, too. And we hope that will make you excited uh, to check out Northern Arizona. Yeah. And our, our ambassadors are going out there and uh, giving you a glimpse um, of what we have to offer here. Now, not directly connected with orientation, but definitely a part of that summer experience is academic advising and getting that class schedule for fall. And I would encourage our incoming students uh, to go to nau.edu slash gateway. All of our incoming first year students are advised through our Gateway Student Success Center. On that webpage, if you have not done so already, um, there are links for incoming students. The first one I want to mention is to click on priority enrollment. Um, and that's a profile that you're going to fill out and begin the communication with your academic advisor. The second link after you've completed that priority enrollment is going to be to schedule your academic advising appointment. So if you're wondering how do you go about getting a class schedule, how do you meet with an academic advisor, that would be where I'd point you to first. So nau.edu slash gateway. So uh, definitely uh, check that out if you have not taken those steps already. Now we're going to continue with our tour of NAU's campus, and next up we've got Abby and Bailey to show us a couple more sites. Hello, my name is Abby. We're here on North Quad, which is one of my favorite places on campus. Behind me is Old Main, which was our first building built. I really love coming here because it kind of encompasses just how much we've grown as a university and all that it represents. My favorite things to do in North Quad are to come here and study, hang out with friends, picnic, slackline, hammock, um, lots of different outdoor activities. I also really love being able to see all the seasons change, so seeing the leaves change color in the fall and building snowmen and playing in the snow in the winter. Hey everybody, my name is Bailey and I am a True Blue Ambassador at NAU. Directly behind me is going to be Lutz Telescope. It is the observatory on our campus. Uh, and the fields that we're currently on are called the observatory fields. Now the observatory is specifically for our astronomy majors, but this field is for everyone. Me and my friends come here, play soccer, uh, spike ball, we tan, stargaze, and that's why it's one of my favorite places on campus. Welcome back. I love seeing Old Main. As you know, that's where we are tonight, one of my favorite buildings on campus. And you also saw the observatory in the field. And yesterday, as I was driving on campus, a yoga class was happening right on that field. So that was pretty cool. I'm so excited to welcome our next guest, Joey Ruiz, who is the Director of Leadership Engagement Activities and Peer Mentoring, or LEAP for short. Joey is going to talk to us about all the fun things that happen outside of the class. Um, your job sounds super fun. I always say mine's the best job on campus, though, so you can't take that title away from me. I'll try. <laughs> so, so one of the questions we've consistently gotten, especially in light of um, COVID and, and, and connecting, students connecting with each other, is what is lumberjack experience and what can students expect so can you start us off joey by talking about that because that's a key entry point for students to connect with others when they get here yeah sure uh so the lumberjack experience or ljx is what we uh, have for students to get involved and engaged at on campus. Uh, for a lot of our new to NAU students, it is an opportunity to really understand what it means to be a lumberjack. So during this lumberjack experience, we have welcome concerts, student organization fairs, other activities just to really make the campus feel like home away from home for our new students. Awesome. So kind of other campuses may call it welcome week and that kind of thing. Ours yeah. is called lumberjack experience. Yes. Um, and it's a great way for students to dive in and get involved, kind of pick and choose what they want yeah. to do and meet new people. Yeah. So we have a full week and 10 days worth of activities. Nice. They start from the beginning of move in and go through the 28th of August. So all the way through that first week of school, like we even have a president's barbecue, um, 
movies on the field, welcome concert, like I said, just a lot of opportunities for students to really find their fit on campus. Nice. I always love seeing those concerts and those movies on those fields. It's amazing yeah. how many students can, can get there to to just enjoy and hang out with each other and, yes. and listen to some music or watch a movie. And sometimes they don't even watch the movie, but just an opportunity to connect. Yes. Yeah. So I know a lot of students and certainly um, the enrollment area on campus, we wouldn't um, be able to function without our student worker team. So if I'm a student and I want to find a job on campus or in the Flagstaff community, what do I do? How do I find out about those opportunities? Yeah, great question. So an opportunity uh, that students sh should be using is our handshake application. Uh, it's through our career development office, so nau.edu slash handshake. It's, an it's a, a portal that our students and employers use to uh, have their jobs uh, posted. So a lot of on-campus opportunities. So if you're looking for a job for the fall semester, feel free to check that out. Uh, and you can see what's available, like, like you're saying, from your office and all of those student employees to our peer mentors, uh, front desk staff members across the campus, campus rec, any jobs on campus are going to be posted on that Handshake app. Cool. Yeah, I know so many students work um, and so Handshake and students, it's not too early. You can go on the Handshake app now on that website, create a profile, upload resume, et cetera, and, and search for the jobs that are already posted for the fall. So it's not too early to start. Yeah. One of the things I love seeing on campus um, and still have seen quite a bit even in the last year is students really showing their pride and, and, and wearing t-shirts and sweatshirts and whatnot from their club or organization on campus. So if I'm a student, how do I choose a club to be involved with on campus? Great question. So um, uh, we have our True Blue Connects, which is our platform for student clubs and organizations for students to find that involvement on campus. During the Lumberjack experience, we'll have a couple different opportunities for students to check out some of our club fairs. Uh, we'll have a sports club fair at our uh, NAU Letters event, so you'll be able to see some of the sports clubs there. Uh, and then for those that may need some time to feel connected and settle into campus a few weeks into the semester we'll also host another club fair for students to really find their fit on campus awesome. we have over 400 uh 400 different clubs and organizations uh for students to find their fit so whether it's academic based a uh, major based uh different id like different interests uh sororities fraternities uh, there's a fit for anyone on campus. And if you don't find one that really fits your needs, uh, students can also uh, create their own club. So we, we have our staff in our office, in the LEAP office, there to help and assist for students to create their own campus and make their own connection on, on campus. So uh, plenty of ways to find their fit. And the easy short link is nau.edu says T. BC, True Blue Connects. So it's awesome. an opportunity for students to really find their fit on cool. campus. And that's so important, especially um, we're coming off a year where their connections have looked and felt much different because of the pandemic. Yeah. I'm so excited to hear that the letters event is back and some of those tr tried and true traditions that I know our students enjoy as new, new lumberjacks up here in Flagstaff. So Joey, last question for you. Mm -hmm. If I'm a student, like, why should I become involved on campus? What are the benefits to me to becoming involved? Yeah, so going along with your academic experience and the experiences you gain inside the classroom, the experiences that you have outside the classroom just enhance your overall collegiate experience. And those are where the memories happen. So finding uh, a club organizations, uh, late night activities, exploring the campus and really finding that fit makes you have that sense of belonging on campus. And that's where like that home away from home feel. And students that are engaged on campus, they uh, do better academically. They have that, that connection that they want to be here. So they do better in their classroom and they graduate on time. 
Well, as a parent of a new first year student, graduating on time is key. Um, and also making connections and finding new friends for sure is, is really important too. Oh, yes. Awesome. Well, Joey, thanks for joining me up here in this gorgeous art gallery. Yeah, it's been Let's a pleasure. go ahead and look at um, two more favorite spots on campus. Hello, my name is Abby and I'm a student ambassador here at NAU and right now I'm at my favorite spot which is the Sky Dome here on campus and one of those reasons I love it is because this is a great place um, for student traditions to happen. One of those is just the running of um, the freshmen is here and this is where all the football and basketball games are held and this is just great because it's free for students, um, it's just a great environment to watch games and get to know people and just be there with friends. Another reason I really like the Sky Dome is because this is actually a polling place for the community and students and I was actually here last year when I voted and it was an amazing experience. Hi, my name is Garrett and I am a True Blue Ambassador. Right now we're at the pool which is home to NAU Women's Swim and Dive Team. This is a place I've made so many memories including watching my friend win the first ever cardboard boat race and I tried a relay race out for myself. There's so many activities for students to participate in including relaxing at one of our dive in movies, participating in splash in a spring break, and just coming to the open swim hours to enjoy the pool. So from 10 meters up, this is why the Wall Aquatic Center is one of my favorite spots on campus. Awesome, welcome back. That 10 meter, I am not afraid of heights, but I was up on that 10 meter platform in the Aquatic Center and that is really high, especially when you have to jump off. Not a fan, but so cool that they got to get in there and, and it is such a great uh, facility here on campus. To that end, we are opening our rec center next week. So certainly with COVID and the pandemic, we've been super cautious with that, but it, it is going to be open. So super excited about that. So joining us again as one of our kind of steady guests here on, on the forecast from Flagstaff is our Associate Vice President of Housing and Residence Life, Alicia Wojtek. Hello. Thanks for joining us again. So many of the questions we get submitted ahead of time really are about that living experience because it is such a huge part when students aren't in class, you know, the scheduling and the advising is a big piece, but certainly that living experience. And it certainly ties into what Joey was sharing about involvement as well. And I know there are team members in each residence halls that, that really are charged with getting students involved in, in, in connecting students. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, thanks for having me again. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, yeah, there's a great support network in the residence halls uh, for, especially for your first year, but even beyond that, you're more than welcome to stay with us all four years if you'd like. Um, but it's a great way to help transition to college and then get ready for that independent living. So um, that network includes many different staff members. Uh, your resident assistant or RA, it's a great person to get to know right away when you arrive. They're gonna be welcoming you, greeting you. Uh, the RA lives right there on the floor and helps you get connected meet new friends um, they plan floor activities to get to know your immediate floor there's also high hallway hall wide uh, <laughs> events that you can meet students from across uh, different halls uh, and different uh, rooms in the building so they're a great first uh, step for you to get to know. They also are there for helping with any questions. So if you have any concerns, they help with roommate agreements. So really just wanna help you transition and the activities that they plan and they'll help take you to Welcome Jack uh, or Welcome Lumberjack experience. Uh, so just make sure that you get to know that. All right, they're wonderful. In addition, we have residential college ambassadors. So they really help with that kind of uh, connection point between the social and academic experience. So if you have questions about classes or um, they help with with, you know class registration down the road and uh, really just study groups and all those kind of things so definitely take advantage of the hall staff the halls are managed by a full-time residence hall director who uh, lives there in the building as well and so a professional staff member there for additional support so really take advantage and we're excited to see you uh, this fall awesome thank you so I had the opportunity to take a peek at the chat uh, while I was off camera. And I have to say, Melissa from Humboldt County, California, you made Bill Ferris from NAU TV's <laughs> day. 
um, in the back. He is from Humboldt <laughs> County, California. So he's, um, he, he's, a, he's doing a happy dance <laughs> yep. in the background right now. Get it, Bill. <laughs> and cer certainly appreciate NAU TV um, and the help that they uh, give us putting on these productions. I also saw some questions in the chat coming in, kind of again around finding links for these different things. Would really encourage you to download NAU Go, uh, the app from the App Store. Um, and, and with that, then you're gonna see links to all of these different uh, virtual events. And the parent chat uh, next week, a week from today, um, on June 16th at 5 p.m. is on the NAU social YouTube page that you're currently watching forecast from Flagstaff. So it's set up there uh, to premiere already. You'll, you'll already see it there on their playlist. So jumping into some of the questions that were submitted ahead of time in the survey, and we certainly appreciate those. It, it helps us prepare and, and know what you wanna learn about. Um, Annika, if we can start off, there was a question that came in about supplemental health insurance for out-of-state students. Great question. So first line of defense with health insurance is to contact our campus health area, nau.edu slash slash CHS, Campus Health Services, to see if even if your out of state provider provides any coverage here in Arizona. Um, but if you do need an Arizona provider, we do offer the student health insurance program for that very situation. If a student's uninsured or needs an, a local Arizona plan, that is available to them. And, and depending on um, if you're a full or part-time part student status, there are different costs for that, but it, it really is a, a very low cost option for those that are uninsured. Additionally, for those that have insurance, um, but may not want to file those claims and do all that, we have Louis Care. And Louis Care is $135 a semester. Um, so fall and spring semester separately. And what you get with that is, is very small co-pays at our campus health services. And I think all three of us use campus health services for our, our health care. So it's a great um, group of providers led by Julie Ryan and team um, in the rec center, which again, as I mentioned, will be open starting next week, which is super exciting for all of us on campus. Absolutely. So the reason we have Alicia here, there were a lot of housing questions that came in ahead of time. And the, the short, quick question I want to ask you first, is there still housing available if someone has not applied for housing yet? Yes, you can definitely continue to apply for housing. We That application is open. So if you're making some uh, maybe decisions this summer, or you're kind of between some things, just know that, yes, we have a space for you. And we encourage you, again, highly encourage you. It's not required, but typically about 90% of our freshmen, um, incoming freshmen, do choose to live on campus. So please get connected, uh, meet some new people, and live with us. Awesome. And then there's questions kind of, so maybe they've applied for housing. What, what are the next steps? When will they get notified? What, what do they need to do after they've applied for housing to secure that room? Yeah, if you've applied for housing, you're waiting to see your next steps, um, make sure you're checking your NAU email because that's where we're always uh, sending you next steps. You're always going to go back to the housing portal where you applied for housing. That's where you can search for roommates. That's where you can select your room. Um, once you have your room selection time, which will email you to your NAU email address, uh, once you have that, that's your start time. So, for example, if it's June 20th at 10 a.m., you can log in at that point or any time after to select your room. It's all live, real time, so you'll see any space that's available so you can search by different room types or different buildings um, and there's a great resource on the website every hall has its own website and web page so you can definitely look at uh, virtual reality tours photos videos um, there's a list of amenities so you can really get a sense of what the hall is like um, but just know that regardless of what hall you choose you're gonna have a great experience we typically ask our students you know what's or student incoming students will say what's the best hall <laughs> and any student will tell you that their hall is the best hall so we know you'll have a good one absolutely so the, the move-in piece is certainly a question that we're, we're getting a lot to um, when are students gonna move in how do they go about choosing their move-in time um, if you could talk us through that a little bit yeah, definitely. So move in the first day of class is on the 23rd, and so that's a Monday. Of we, August. Of August. Oh, thank you. That would be important to know. Don't show up uh, next month. <laughs> We're not ready for you quite yet. Uh, uh, but move in happens that week before. So Thursday through Monday, Thursday through Sunday are the most uh, move in appointments that you can select from. That's our general move in. And we also have some early move in slots too. If you want to move in a day or two early for an additional $25 a night, you can do that. Uh, but you're going to receive 
receive um, an invitation to select your move-in appointment later this summer. And that's where you'll actually pick, pick your uh, arrival time. And so it'll be 45 minute appointments. You'll have plenty of time to unload uh, and then park your car and then continue to unload your room itself. Um, but to plan ahead now, we encourage you to look at the move-in site neu.edu slash move in and that's where you'll find the overall schedule and information about move in and what to expect so you can start to plan ahead for at least your arrival day and then later in the summer you'll pick your actual time so and we'll give you more information as well uh, later in the summer with details as we get closer we encourage you to log into the webinars uh, that will help you we'll get more into detail on some of those uh, topics so um, Tune in then too. And first webinars tomorrow night, it as is. Jenny said, for yeah. housing and dining. You're going to so. get sick of me. It maybe. always <laughs> amazes me too how well executed move in goes mm. from where to, to park to unload to then long term parking. And um, I know there's probably a lot of parents that are, some are probably very ready to drop <laughs> um, their student off, and some may want to wait till that very last day like me no just kidding <laughs> um and so and it really moves in in just a smooth really great cadence so it's a it's a well-oiled machine for sure um that you and your team um execute yeah yeah so i'm going to throw a question your way annika and i'm going to read it kind of how it was submitted here okay. uh, they're talking about loan repayment and Got they say it. how much of the remaining loan amount has to be paid before enrollment for the next term so oh. talk about loan repayment a yeah little. so loan repayment has has looked different for different populations over um, through COVID because the federal government has suspended the subsidized and unsubsidized federal loans until October 1st. But students that are currently attending and have a federal loan, that is, you don't have to pay that back until six months after graduation. So if you're a current student and you have a subsidized or unsubsidized loan, and I'll talk about the difference in those in just a moment, um, you can, you don't have to repay any of those back before you enroll again and continue to enroll up until the point you graduate or choose to stop out of the institution. And then six months after that, that's when your payment will start. Some students um, take private loans through individual banks. Um, and so those may look different, but typically for a student loan, there's a grace period during all of your enrollment until you're completed. The difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loan, you can learn a ton more next Tuesday and Thursday in those financial aid um, and financing your education. You don't need to go to all of them, but, but certainly check out one in the upcoming weeks. A subsidized loan is subsidized by the federal government, the interest rate while you're in school. So that's, that's kind of the best in class loan because as a student, you don't accrue that interest. An unsubsidized loan, each time, each semester when that loan disperses to you, that your interest does start accruing. So it's not subsidized. So hence the unsubsidized. So I think I covered it. Yes. I you, gave you a did. And de definitely that, that plug. There's yes. no <laughs> test. Yes. But the awesome team members next Tuesday and Thursday and throughout the summer on financing your education, again, on the NAU Go app. Absolutely. You can tune in. So a question came in, and there's always parking questions, no matter what events we do. Uh, came in ahead of time here around when are parking permits going to be available, and the answer to that is August 1st, and the rates are, are staying what they were this past year um, for that. So you might be thinking, hey, how am I going to get my parking permit fast enough? So we actually do uh, parking by license plate, so you're going to put your license plate number in there, and it'll be in the system, um, so you don't have to wait for the permit to be mailed to you and that type of thing um, to be added to your car. So that's why we can we can turn that around quickly um, from that August 1st uh, open date. One other question I wanted to cover here is around the Honors College, and is it too late to apply for the Honors College? The answer is no. Uh, you can still apply to the Honors College. And on, on your end, Honors does have the, the Living and Learning Community, and Alicia's uh, team would happily help assist you uh, transition to the Honors College uh, Learning Community. Yeah, if you apply for honors after you've already selected a room elsewhere, um, that's okay. It's not too late. So we'll go ahead and we'll cancel your current booking and then we'll allow you to select your room in the honors college. So uh, if you haven't selected your room yet and then you're accepted to the honors college, once you get your room selection time, you'll just pick from uh, a room in the honors college. So I think that covers the questions that came in via the survey, or at least the big themes that came in ahead of time. Parents, submit those questions for next week's parent chat. 
Um, but Annika, if you could talk a little bit about our next forecast episode, yes, June I'm 23rd. I'm so excited. So June 23rd, two weeks from tonight, we will be um, welcoming in forecast style our next president of NAU, who starts on Monday, Dr. Jose Luis Cruz Rivera. I'm so excited. So we're just going to sit down and ask him a ton of questions about his vision for the university and just get to know him. So super excited. Join us two weeks from tonight, 5 p.m. We'll be in the Native American Cultural Center, another gorgeous venue. So again, thank you for joining us. Lots of opportunities to continue to connect throughout this summer. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and we look forward to seeing you on campus uh, for a vibrant campus experience you got an opportunity to hear a little bit more about tonight um, in short order this fall. Take care. Go Jacks. Go Jacks. <laughs>